gone gaga my gugu. But hey, it's we 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 support the elderly here. Uh, he was there during the war, the Boer War, 170. Did you hear that? Oh, the oldest person who was alive in the UK, 113, was in the 19th century. I'll tell you a story here, I just thought about it. Did anybody ever meet anybody from the 19th century? Well, I know I did. In fact, I signed up, right, for cable, right, an old age pensioner who was born in 1899. There you go, the same year as Jimmy Lowell. So 1899, the last year, I'm sure it was 97, 98, because the last year was about, as a, she was about 98, the oldest cable customer, and I signed her up. She was staying with her grandchildren, I think it was, or her daughter, I don't know who it was. And she had, uh, yeah, they put her on to put it under her name because she got it in free. Things people would do for saving £25 and in the install fee for the cable guy. Put it on a 98-year-old granny. <laughs> I remember putting the order through and the lassie, she's saying, what's the date of birth? And I went, I don't know, 14, 6, 99. She went, aye, right, yeah. I'm sure it was either 97 or 98, could have been. I was like, no, seriously, this woman's fucking 98, 99. They couldn't put it on the computer. They had to put her down as zero, zero or something, like it was zero, one. So, that was the last time I spoke to any little bastards. The last time before that was uh, the Jimmy Lawwell. Help the crackpot elderly here. This is a crackpot elderly show. And God willing, I just spoke off air just prior to that. Oh yeah, here, I was phone called earlier on today by someone in Dutchland. And if it wasn't our good buddy Stephen, and it wasn't a good friend there, uh, Francis, who has, he's going to come on tomorrow. A good brother over in Netherlands has uh, tried to give... Uh, well, well, listen, we'll get him on tomorrow. We're going to get him on tomorrow. He's even tried to get a hold of the mayor as well, and he's been given short shrift as well. But listen, stay there, because hold on. Right, oh, and wonderful Celtic family stepped in. Miss call. There we go. Hold on, stay there. Shame you know double Dutch. for me today. Dit is de voicemail van Fleur Alink, Veiligheidsbureau Amsterdam. U kunt een boodschap inspreken na de piep. Ah, uh, Fleur Alink. Fleur actually called me back. The lovely Fleur, the flower, the little petal, her Dutch petal, who, I don't know, she... What, Jimmy Lobel? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, you old codger? Can you hear me? Mark, call in Jimmy. Come in, Jimmy. So that was a bold flare. Right, now, now we're cooking with gas. Right, if Jimmy Lowell wants to come on and talk to a crackpot, if there's any other half out there that wants to come out and talk to a crackpot, then by all means, come ahead if you think you're crackpot hard enough. Uh, if not, forever hold on to your peace. I've got other plans. Stay there. Walter Cronkite. I'm just watching this bit of audio. I'm going to turn this off. I can't be bothered about it. So, yes, we've got an early start here. Sounds okay. Colin Jordan. Clear as a bell. T. God bless, mate. Right, so we're all cooking with gas here, right? You know, this is becoming one of my favourite songs. It always has been, but this version just rocks, you know. Just kind of 
Hi, you must be the way the audience are just clapping. It's, it's... Come on, let's get into it. The Amsterdam International Brigade, three to Amsterdam too. They came to stand beside the Spanish people To try and stem the rising fascist tide Franco's allies were the power full and wealthy Oh, don't miss us Frank Ryan's came from the other side What's this? Even the Olives Hello Hello. Turn your radio down. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Hello, my friend. Hello. Turn your radio down. Just down. call to say hello. Can you hear you me? Ah, can oh, you hear I can me? hear you now. Ah, I can hear you now, yeah. Right, you're banned. I won't listen to the tune. I'll get you back in five. Fucking after all that, saying I'm sure he's a zombie. Hello, hello, hello. What the fucking hello is she need? I ain't flying shit, man. Let us remember them Bob Hillard was the Church of Ireland pastor From Killarney across the Pyrenees he came From there he came a brave young Christian brother Side by side they fought him died in Spain And Tommy Woods at 17 died in Cordova but the Vienna, he learned to hold the clock From Dublin to the Via del Rio Where he fought and died beneath the Spanish sun Viva la quinta brigada No pass around the pledge that made him fight Adelante is the crier of the hillside let us remember them tonight When the Irishman heard the call of Franco Joined Hitler and Mussolini too The propaganda from the pulpit and newspaper Had no dummy to gather up its crew And the word came from the church to port the Nazi Again. The bishops bless the blue shirts down in Galway As the sail beneath the swastika to Spain Viva la quinta regala No pass around the pledge that made a fight Adamante is the crier of the hillside Let us remember them The song is a tribute to Frank Ryan To Conway and Vinnie Cody too Peter Daly, Charlie Regan and Hugh Bonner So many died again but never fear Danny Boyd, Leza Brown and Charlie Dunkley Liam Tomlinson and Jim Strady from Short Strand Jack Nelty, Tommy Pepp, and Frank Conroy Jim Foley, Tony Fox, and the Gondi Viva la quinta regala No pass around the pledge that made him fight And the left day is the crier of the hillside Let us remember them Let us remember them tonight. Let us remember them Thank you. 
Phone is there. Who's that? What's going down here? What's happening? Who's that telephone? Hey, where did GWG go? There you are, there. Hey, the GWG man. Hey, right, lights out, TV off. Are you down for a full house? Hello. Hail. Yes, no then. No then, young man. No then, what are we up to? What are we doing? Who are you voting for tomorrow? Are you voting have to we, get rid of Laurel? Your, have you got your packed lunch ready for tomorrow? Yes, I'm having my halal rolling sausage in the morning before I go. I'll be right. ready, well, ready to go. Because these dinners, these dinners are fucking expensive up there, mate. Oh, don't you worry. I'm not going to buy any dinners. I'm going to eat people, not eat dinners. Don't forget you're playing with the big boys tomorrow. Playing with the big boys? I don't play with any boys, mate. You're, you're mistaken, mate. They're no big boys. They're just half-wits in suits. Oof. 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 Who do you think they are? <laughs> I've torn to pieces, lords. Knights are leaping, MPs, even James Rubin from the Clinton administration. Uh, I've heckled, I've heckled Robin Cook a hundred days before he, pa he, made, he, he went pan breed. Uh, you, were you listening to the other radio for as well? Uh, oh no, I've got, uh, I've got, who do you call him on? Uh, Young Kung Su in North Korea. Actually, it's like, just like watching fucking Alex Salmon. Well, turn it off, then. You can't be dealing with that. You're same looking, the ugly fat bastard. You're putting me off. We have no tendency. You're putting me off. Turn yeah. it off. Turn it off. Yeah. Right, you're putting me off. I can only think of one thing at a time. Right, so have you ever been to one of these AGMs? And are you, are you, uh, are you a shareholder and have you proxy voted... Never been to one, mate. Never? But I know plenty of people who, who have and who go, yes. And have you have you done, have you proxied up your shares? Yes. And have you asked to get rid of Peter Lowell? No. Why not? But why should we? Why should we not? There's a fiddling job up there. No, well I... Money in the bank. Shut up. Listen... Load, load loads of dosh in the bank the hundred nah. deceased listen listen you listening you all eyes I'm listening ah yeah right I'm just thinking when I should speak up now at the point at the end is probably too late mission uh, the 12 point is the UEFA but that's the key thing that I'm wanting to talk about uh, yes. I'm hoping I'm hoping the living wage gets voted through. But yes. I, yes. But the, the one thing that I'm thinking of doing now, and if I could hold counsel with your good self, and if anybody wants to help on it, oh one four one four one six eighteen eighty eight, I'm thinking of coming out of the woodwork early on on the resolution against Peter Lawwell. Anybody want to say anything? And I will stand up there and I will say. For less than the minimum wage, I would offer to do the millionaire's pay packet here for the minimum wage.